Nowadays, there are many new tools that help us communicate and collaborate, but what most of them have in common is that they do not talk to each other. That's why we've created Matrix. Matrix is an open standard for decentralized, persistent communication over IP. You can use Matrix for decentralized group chat, VoIP signaling, Internet of Things data transfer, or just about anywhere you need a common data fabric to link together fragmented silos of communication. Matrix itself is an open standard, but we have also created several open source SDKs. There's a React SDK for the web, Android and iOS SDKs for mobiles, and a Node.js library for connecting other services via the Matrix Application Service API. In the Matrix ecosystem, anyone can run their own server, and you can also end-to-end -end encrypt your data using the Ohm and MegOhm ratchets. The Matrix ecosystem has been growing for two years. Recently, we've launched Riot, a feature-rich Matrix client as an open-source alternative to other proprietary services. Several people have also contributed by writing clients, servers, SDKs, bridges to external services, and bots. The common factor of all these apps is that they can all talk to each other. We also extend the network into existing services via bridges, which means, for example, that a user on Slack can talk to a user on Rocket Chat via Matrix without realizing or needing to realize it. Matrix uses the concept of rooms for both one-to-one -one and group communication. When you send a message to a room in Matrix, each user in that room is sent a copy of that message. However, different users may be located on different home servers, so the servers exchange the data on a need-to-know basis. All the servers that have a user in a room will now have a copy of the conversation in that room. There is no single main server, and the room doesn't belong to any one server. It belongs to multiple servers, and it does not go away even if one of the servers is temporarily unavailable. For example, if you run, or even write, your own server, it'll exchange and persist the data for all the rooms your users are in, but not for any other rooms. While we have focused on fixing the very fragmented state of online communication, Matrix can send any kind of data. Really, we are just exchanging blobs of JSON over the internet. The matrix spec defines data types, such as text, images, video, and audio. VoIP calls use WebRTC with matrix initializing the call. For conference calls, you can connect to a service like FreeSwitch via the matrix application service API. However, matrix can also be used for more than human communication. We control the drone remotely by sending the commands via matrix. We've sent MIDI data to enable remote playback and we've sent sensor information from a card to a real-time diagnostics room. At a previous hack, we've had developers connect Matrix to existing services such as SIP and IMS. Another team created a real-time translation tool for messages sent via Matrix. Other hacks include parsing commands issued by sign language or voice and controlling a robot's movements via Matrix, which included making it dance the Macarena. If you're not sure what you'd like to do, we've got lots of other ideas you might want to consider like embedded chat rooms or building blogging software or forums on top of Matrix. You can find some of these ideas on our Google Summer of Code page. And of course, we're excited to find out what your own original ideas might be. For questions, discussing ideas, and troubleshooting, please come chat to us in the Matrix Tad Hack Room. See you there, and good luck!